All right, I'm going to create my button object. I'm going to go to my text tool. I'm going to just type forum in capitals. Stretch it out a little bit. And because I'm in this little white area here now, I think I could probably give it a different color, like blue or something like that. In the final one, I actually use black. What I'm going to do also is that I'm going to edit. I'm going to copy this. Edit and I'm going to paste this in center. Paste this in center. Let's bring it out here a little bit. Change this to, to kind of grayish. To give it a little um, kind of reflection. Kind of attempt. And let's position it a little bit below there. Now if I want to rotate this. Click on it and go to modify. Go to transform. I could flip vertically and nudge it a little bit with my keyboard. What I would need to do as well is to send it to back. So I'm going to go to modify arrange. And I'm going to send backwards. All right. I need to continue by creating this this button here that I've selected. So before I do that, I need to actually transform this particular button or modify I should say into a symbol so I'm going to hold down the shift key and select these two objects because I want these to represent my button go to modify with a symbol and I'm going to convert the symbol and I'm going to call this button one now as you can see by default is default the button sometimes you may want to create convert the symbol as a movie clip which is very useful because most people use that autographic so I'm going to select the button if it's not selected by default and I'm going to click OK so this area around here now becomes my button and if I go now to my library I would see that it is there now I need to create an instance on this button so I'm going to select this button and I'm going to create an instance I'm going to call this instance B1 um, instances are very useful because for example I could have like in my library I could select this button here out here again and I could create a different instance of this button just like this button here have B1 as an instance so I could actually be reusing over the same graphics over and over but just have separate instances for them so I'm going to actually click down on this button now. I'm going to double click on it before I start to add any code to it. And I will go to a whole different type of timeline because I want to add some different types of animations on this, tic this tic particular button. Um, by default, the keyframe up is there, which is that particular color. So I'm just going to select forum. So when I go in the up state, I'm going to see it as blue. Now, over now, I could right click and go to insert keyframe and I could select a different color all entirely. Let me see, it could be, as I roll over, it could be orange. Okay, or if I hit down on the button, some of the us click this button here again and go down and right click and insert keyframe. If I hit down on the button, it could change to blue. No, not the blue because I had it as blue as already. Let me probably say, well, white. If I click down on it, well, I wouldn't see it. So let's probably choose some other gaily color or something like that. I click down on it. And now with the hit state now, this is like where I draw a particular rectangle in a particular area. Wherever the mouse is over here, I'm going to actually, it's, the button is going to be highlighted. Now, if I was to just select control and enter I will produce a movie and you could see as I mouse over it I click down on it I get a different color but I could have a hit state that is around here that will actually affect on the button so let me just close this here now go to hit right click insert a keyframe and I could use my selection tool rectangular tool here select a particular area as my hit area it defaults orange already as you could see here I will just probably choose red. Let me just use my selection tool. And I'm going to publish this movie now. So you'll see what I'm talking about here. Control and enter. And once I'm in when any one of these regions here, you're going to actually see it highlighted. See any region here is highlighted. 
you can come up here you'll see it highlighted too as well once you're in this region here and you could expand it if you wish just use the free transform tool all right bring it up a little bit bring it right down and that will be my hit region see if i press Control enter as all along here is my movie you've seen it it, it change 